Hi everyone and welcome back to the Brick Bods. If you've not already, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any more of these um, awesome videos. Um, this is a brick haul and today's brick haul is from Bricklink. So this one is exciting for me. So I've got some burp pieces. Um, one, two burp pieces, and two. I think these are lerp pieces, or they might be merp pieces. Um, they, yeah, these are the big ugly rock pieces, and I don't think these are lerps. I think these are slightly bigger than that, so these might be merps, medium ones. Um, because at some point, who knows when, because there's so much to do, we're going to be doing a um, mountain side. So we're going to need some help really creating that. And so these are really good for sort of filling it out and then you can customise it by covering up the studs. Um, I wasn't aware that these were the old grey. I um, don't know if you can see the difference in colour there from the dark bluish grey to the old dark grey but you know mountains aren't always the same colour so that's that's fine you're got, gonna have some variation there so that's fine for me um and then this bag of colourfulness um these are just one by one trans tiles i've got red orange yellow green blue and purple not so many blue actually which is a shame because um could do with like an even number of each um, and these, this is going to be a sign for, um, I think, the bumper cars that we're working on for our um, fairground, which is nowhere near done, um, still in the concept phase, really. But I know I want a, a really brightly coloured sign, so I've bought those. Um, Ian added a few things on for his underwater sea um, coral thing. Um so I'm gonna guess what the, that's what these are for. Some of those I kind of look like um POW type things, you know, like in superheroes when they have a big fight, those things, but um and another bag of the yellow ones which I had recently in the hidden side set. Um so it's got like the spooky hand, um those kind of pieces. Um, he's also got some little yellow ladybirds there, which are quite sweet. So I'm going to guess those probably are going to live under his sea as well. Pretty much everything Ian's ordering at the moment is for his underwater scene. We've got a bag of used here, so these are going to need a wash. And I have to say, washing Lego is not my favourite. So I think I've got a minifigure here just to bulk out the order we've got a santa um although i did just pick up a santa from the the lego store um minifig selection so maybe we don't need it well actually no he's one of the collectible minifigures so you know my completest attitude says i have to have him uh, oh look a big ray definitely going under the the sea Woo. um oh i bought a bunch of heads i remember because I don't have enough heads, I've decided. Um, so I've started purchasing heads to sort of build up a collection. And I, I'm quite cheap, so I like to go for the ones that are sort of less than 25p each. But then if there's any funky ones, I will, I will splurge, I guess. So let's stack them all up and we have a look at them. So we've got an interesting sort of beard going on on there, actually. A moustache and beard and some, some wrinkles. Um, like a crazy scientist, maybe. Um, a grumpy female. Yep. They're all one-sided heads, actually. So grumpy female. Um, cheeky, maybe flirty female. This one, um, I like the... The moustache, he looks very arrogant and um, 
full of himself. This is possibly my favourite one. Look at that face. Um, kind of nerdy maybe or simple. I don't know. And then I think this one is possibly from the Haunted House set. Um, those twins. But it's quite a nice beard. Um, so that's the start of my head collection. It says that you can't put heads onto burps. Um, so I'll just stick that over there. Um, I've got a trolley. Uh, I'm going to guess that was one of Ian's. No, no, I might have picked it up because it was a pretty colour. I can't remember. This is the thing I... When you're trying to bulk out an order. These I think Ian's going to make some jellyfish out of, like I did in um, the Friends set. And I think he's um, bought these hair pieces, again, for... Some interesting coral reef. I'm not sure if he knows how he's going to use them yet, but anything he sees that's a sort of interesting shape, so especially this one, um, he thinks about for the, the coral reef. Um, kind of a, a zigzag, flamey type bit. Again, probably the coral reef. What have we got in here? Let's pull this one out. Um, so these are from the Scooby-Doo sets, I believe, the Mystery Machine build. And so I think that's for for Ian's Underwater the Sea thing again. Um, he decided to buy this. This is the face from the Monster Fighters train, which we actually do have. And I believe it glows in the dark. Yeah. I don't know how I show you that, but... Oh, hello. Yeah, it glows in the dark. Just believe me. That's all you need to do. Um, so that's so now we have two of those. Um, I may have bought this one. Just a simple shop or skate shop sign. Um, no plans yet. Just interesting piece. A jazz fest sign. Ian's normally the one who likes um, saxophones. So that might have been him. Uh, this one. I quite quite like um, um maybe it's a tea shop maybe I just thought it would make an interesting shop sign if um in like a um Chinese area of the city if we have one got another bag here of pieces and then in fact it's not sure what these are. I've got some unicorn horns in pale blue. So I think those are to use in the coral reef. And then we've got some red ones as well. A whole bunch of those, in fact. And um, we've got some like little train pieces. I don't know if they are train pieces, but this is how they use them in like the winter village sets. They turn those into trains and I... Maybe they're traffic lights pieces. I don't know. But I don't know what they're for. I didn't add those, so I'm going to guess that was Ian again. He's got quite a few of those. Oh, he's got some funky pieces. What are these? They're like maybe gun pieces? Mm, I don't know. So who knows what his plans are. He's got some in grey as well of the train pieces. Some more funky hair. I think this is probably a a troll's hair or maybe one of the... Um, sisters from uh, The Simpsons. Mm, I'm not sure. Some flames. Some orange leaves. Some green leaves, although we picked a load of these up from the pick a brick wall. And then a... Is that like a red pumpkin? Yeah, I think it is. So again, I'm going to assume coral reef for all of those. So this is quite a, a, a big big haul, actually. I think this is probably one of our biggest so far. Um, slowly building up those pieces um, and trying to think of projects and finding the right pieces for those. So 
this might become a, a definite regular occurrence if we're going to do lots of orders. Comment below if you've got any um, piece suggestions for us. Tell us what you think of these these heads. Um, what's your opinion of of burps and lerps? Um, do you do you think they're cheating? And don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss an update. See you later.